Filipinos and food. Two words that mean essentially the same thing. If you have Filipino friends or you've ever been to a Filipino party, you know they love their food. You will leave with a Neapolitan ice cream container filled with food. As Tita Marianne does not take no for an answer and she is a scary woman for such a small person. I know you're thinking, I'm talking about adobo, lechon, halo halo. No, no, no. I'm talking more about what true locals eat. Infamous duck eggs, bird included. Questionable street food carts everywhere. There's even a street just dedicated to barbecue chicken. And my thoughts on classic Filipino breakfast, which we know is gonna be served with rice. And because I came back five kgs heavier, we're gonna talk about it. We're gonna start with balut, because why save the best for last when you can have the worst first? I'm gonna do this quick, because I'm starting to talk myself out of it. <laughs> balut is a fertilized duck egg, boiled, and you eat it out of the shell. How do you eat this? So we sip, sip the sip. Okay. Okay, I'm sick. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. You can either have 16 weeks, 18 weeks, or 21 weeks. When I say weeks, I mean how old the duck is. Was. How old the duck was. That's inside the egg. Just go to pop the whole thing in your mouth. If you have the stomach for it, I'd recommend to try it. It's, uh... I think in here is really chewy. <laughs> it's unique. I think I've got a beef in my tooth. Crunchy. Um, it was really nice. You don't like it? Yeah. <laughs> what? Well, that's a plant twist. Yeah. Well, that's not fair. <laughs> Eating a duck fetus was not exactly in my 2024 bingo card. You actually like it. It was good. Everywhere you go, you're going to see questionable street food carts, and they are just flavored by the streets of the Philippines. <laughs> How much flavoring depends on how long they've been out there, which we will never know. This is chicken, what's this guy? <laughs> you're never really quite sure what you're having because you could be having cheese sticks. As two lactose intolerant Muppets, we go for cheese sticks right away. Is this more chili? Cheese stick with cheese powder. Oh, fuck, it's good. We're happy about the cheese. Oh, that's good. Or it's dynamite. And I have a problem with this because it looks exactly the same as the cheese sticks. But what it is, is a chili stuffed with cheese wrapped in rice paper. That burns twice. You could think you're having chicken. My friends, it's not chicken. They lie. It's chicken intestines. Battered and deep fried the way God intended and it's divine. A pleasant new discovery I made was Quick Quick. Discovered that years ago. It's quail eggs battered, deep fried, and it's orange. Uh, why is it orange? You just don't know. No. Quick Quick comes with two sauce options, spicy, savory, or sweet, just like everything else in the Philippines. Sausages, that's sweet. Spaghetti, sweet. Beef tapas, sweet. And I'm, I'm pretty sure some of you add sugar to your adobo because it can't be that good that often. Deep fried quail eggs. Oh, that's really nice. Nice, eh? Mmm, that's really good. Mm -hmm. That was a good with the syrup, right? Mm -hmm. Located in Bacolod City, City of Smiles. A whole street, all selling barbecue chicken. The only difference I can find in this one, someone should have been retired Lolo making the chicken. This one, a chain smoking Tita. And over here, a lady with the biggest hands in Adam's apple I've ever seen. It's honestly the best chicken I've ever had. And I come from South Africa where we have Nando's. Hi, where's my chips? Where? There they are. The bigger, fuller, bouncier, double-breasted burger from Nando's. I, it's, they take the oil that drips off the chicken and you put that over your rice. And until I went there, I never knew melted chicken fat was something I wanted and needed over my rice. There's a reason I went from this to this. It's because of this. Oh my God. There's nothing like putting leftover melted chicken fat all over your carbohydrates. Just by the way, if you don't like rice, you're not gonna like the Philippines. Which brings us to the star of the show. The very thing that fuels every karaoke bar in the Philippines. Rice. Filipino power. Ever in my life have I seen restaurants advertise Anli rice. Anli means unlimited. I can just imagine these restaurants marketing team sitting there being like, should we advertise the beautiful, best, Wagyu beef? N no, no, no. You know what we should do? Anli rice. Unlimited rice. I'll get them in. <laughs> it works. Got me. <laughs> Something I didn't think would be a thing, but classic Filipino breakfast. Your options are long, silog, uh, corn, silog, bang, silog, shot in the dark. I think if you just combine it log with whatever you want to eat, it's going to be a breakfast. Like hot dogs? It log. Boom. Hot silog. The magic an egg can do. The foundation of a Filipino breakfast seems to be whatever meat you want, it log and rice, and there you go. And you're set for the day. Well, it's getting dark now, and I finally finished reliving every kg I gained this holiday. Let us know if you've tried any of these and uh, which ones you like, and then watch this one we did beforehand. <laughs>
Um, uh. I think that's good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what do you want for dinner? Uh, mm. Rice. 